Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the uh, Board of Water and Sewer Commissioners, January 2nd, 2019 meeting. Uh, first thing on our agenda is the uh, acceptance of the December 5th, 2018 meeting. I reviewed them. I re reviewed them as well. And, um, They're not in the packet. I emailed them. I'll make a motion. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept them as saw presented. Them. You saw them? Okay. Yep. Okay, we have a motion to accept the December uh, fifth meetings. It's been second. Are all those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous Aye. on the meetings. Uh, next thing on the agenda: 93 Schofield Ave. Derek Carv Caravello, request for auto sales and repair in the Aquifer District. He's not here yet. He's okay. Not here yet. No. no. Next okay, one. we'll jump up. 144 Schofield Ave. Wesley Pettit, request for two. Additional storage buildings in property in the aquifer district. Come on up, Wes, and give us your details. Well, in year 2000, I purchased a, a property that was a machine shop mm -hmm. uh, at that location, 144 Schofield, and we put up uh, two storage uh, buildings, a total of uh, I think 3,200 square feet. It's on those plans. So I'm looking to expand with actually removing a building and replacing it and then adding a fourth building so there would be a total of four buildings. So an existing um, existing use, just a continuation of an existing use. Which property is this? The right, old, uh, right before uh, Carpenter Road. Right at Carpenter Road. Oh, well, right in the corner there? Across from the, across across from from the mill. mill. Okay. Carrie's old tool how to Yeah, you just got to put it in the parking shop. lot. I didn't remember the machine shop there. Excuse me? It's going to be in the parking lot? Uh, the old machine shop parking lot, you're going to set it up in there just uh, like the other That's ones. where the existing buildings are, where the right. parking lot was. With the machine shop building, we're proposing taking it down and replacing it with metal. Oh, okay. 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 You know, there's a water service that goes in there. Exactly. There's a water service that goes into that old. Oh, there is. And, yeah, and I've been using it, but I'm actually going to discontinue it. Oh, so now, you're gonna gonna have, now you're getting into a cap. Behind. You're gonna have to cap the main and do all the whole. Uh, whatever I need. So when you when you talk about buildings, Wes, yes. are you talking your portable buildings that you put on the ground? No, these would be on a cement slab foundation. So that a, a cement slab foundation has to be poured. Then mm -hmm. you're going to, in other words, in other words, it's not a building with a foundation. But it's a slab yeah, but foundation. It's not a, you know, a, it's not a. Frame, it's not frost walls. No, it's not a building. A frame building. No. It's a, a typical storage unit on a poured slab. Correct. So storage only, no business, no office. Uh, Where people drive in and they have a key to go to you, go to the one they rent. Correct. What, what do you store? What do you allow as storage as far as chemicals and things like that? For None. It's, it's in our lease that we don't allow any of that. So you monitor. In fact, that? when I was first uh, when I was first approved almost 20 years ago, um, we discussed that, and that was became a part of my lease. And I also am not looking for or have any um, vehicle storage whatsoever. So no oils, no... Uh, no uh, no extra parking for anything. Everything has to be within a storage unit. Okay, and it's, and it's built into your um, your lease? For it is. No, no storage of hazardous chemicals or, Correct. or any of that sort of thing? And, and of course they have liability insurance and the insurance company requires the same. Well, my only question is, you're in the aquifer district because that's the old number five pump station down there, which you may need, right, Judge? He borders it. Um, he may be grandfathered in, and there's also maybe even he has to get someone the health department for that. I, I talked to DEP regarding the other issue down there, my station five. This one's a little bit further off, and it's, and it's already been grandfathered. They don't seem to think there's a problem with it, with anything uh, as far as further on goes. And even that uh, back at the uh, Packard, whatever that lot is, who mm -hmm. hasn't come about, but says it's probably going to be okay as far as that goes. So I'm like, she's waiting on some information I sent her. That and the other thing we discussed before in Schofield Ave. Um, but as far as this goes, I don't think there's any issue here, except for the fact that he does have an existing water line that has to be removed and capped. Um, well, yeah, there are a couple of houses on that property, right? Wood frame buildings? Uh, there's the one wood frame building, not a house. Yeah, it's it was never a residential okay. case, I don't believe. Well, my only concern is I don't want trouble with the DEP coming down the road. Yeah, I, I don't see anything down with this. Um, like I said, I'd still have to uh, wait to hear from uh, the DEP rep that I'm talking to. 
the storage it. units are going to be further away from the water than they are now, correct? Correct. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, right at the Back edge of 100 water. feet, in fact, I could make it more than 100 feet if I needed to. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't see so you're going to take the ones out where the spill pipe is and you're going to eliminate those? They're going to stay. We're not oh, those are going to stay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or any so of the soil around. He's not going to get it. Existing, existing, existing. Yeah. yeah. He's going further back. He's sort of grandfathered in on that property okay. as it is, and yeah. he's not putting anything in the foundation. Are you going as far as Ridge Road? No. No. Ridge Road is further out. Oh, it's a Well, I would say... Actually, there's two houses in my Well, my question is... Do you have to get into a public hearing with with the engineers and all that kind of stuff? No, well, I have to apply for a special permit. Yeah. But I mean, on our end, okay. public hearing with the to okay. let the DEP know impervious soil, things of that nature, I and mean, that starts getting costly. Okay, that's all. I'm just yeah, I don't I don't think so, and I don't, I'm not even sure if this falls into that 400 foot buffer. It's close. I checked the map before. I'd have to look at it again because some of the properties aren't identified on the maps. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to make where they exactly it goes, but. I'm waiting here for her on that other couple things. I can also do a quick ask about this. So you can vote to approve unless there's something that comes down the line and she says, hold on a minute, but I don't see any problem with this. This is pretty existing. They did not, uh, you know, if I tell her what's going on, it's really a slab on, on cement. Or, or, uh, and and of really course, history will show in 19 years there hasn't been any incidences. Yeah. It looks like it's abandoned anyway. I go by um, it every day, so it doesn't look oh, like. Oh, it's a quiet business. I would yeah. say. Yeah. Well, my neighbor rents a, a storage unit from oh, you. Okay. you know? The, Laurie, the yes. packet you gave us for the Packard Drive mm -hmm. in, uh, instance shows Station 5 with a circle around it. Is that the 400-foot buffer? Yes. Um, they, their lot goes on to the 400. If, if, that, is, if that is the 400-foot buffer, we're, we're talking here. about over here. We're not yeah. in that. That's right. I thought, I thought it was outside that. that 400. So I, I'm pretty confident. Because he, that, this, this it, it would have to extend out all the way out to where that Packard Road is. It comes close to the house part. It's, it's, it's to the right of the house, sort of, in that area is where it, it ends. It would have, it would have so to I go, think he's good. go to and almost pass Packard Road in order to get into the 400 feet. Yeah. So I, I don't see that we have a problem with the with that. It looks like it fits in. With that buffer yeah. area. You, you know, because you got another house. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's two houses. Way down here, you got the house yeah. next to it. Right, and you got well, two houses over here, so. Yeah, before, right, right exactly. Yeah. So you know, that was yeah. all built before DEP had exactly. these regulations. DEP, the way she explained it to me is DEP is really not so involved with something like that, that unless there's some detrimental health uh, or issue going into the ground, then they may step in and say, hey, but uh, as far as he goes, I don't see a problem at all here. And it's, the other one, she's even unsure if they're, per they're any purview of to stop it. Um, so we're just sending her some information now on what we have on, the, on some of the other sites just to get a, get a ruling if everything's good to go or whatever. But this here is, way, is outside the 400, so I think he's fine. And I think he's also grandfathered in here. Um, is there a- It's, it's um, not a big issue. Is there fire protection in any of this? No. 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 Okay. Um, Just one water service. Plenty of water the right building. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Into the old building? Yeah. And that's going to be cut and capped? He's going to have to cut, uh, take that, disconnect the service from the main, cap it. So there'd be, fee, there'd be the fees involved there with cutting yep. and capping the water yep. main and taking Because in other words, you cut and cap that water main, you never put another water main back in there for any other use, right? There is no sewer line in near my property there, is there? Does the no, old mill have no, a sewer, sewer connection? Go down that far. No, no sewer, good. believe it or not, the old mill across the street has a pump station out in the yard somewhere. Oh. And it pumps all the way up towards the uh, oh. property by the town of Dudley's uh, house there. Okay. Yeah, well, there's, there's, there's no gr the gravity line stops mm -hmm. right, right near the, uh, the old Wages Express property. Okay. Everything is. Yeah, I, I don't need it. I was just yeah, curious. It's pumped up, you know? I mean, just make sure that you're banning a line that you're not going to need it in the future. Say, oh, geez, I wish I, I wish I didn't do this. A lot of people say, oh man, I could have still used it for washing and doing things, you know, inside a building, toilets, things like that, whatever. But, but you don't want to get into well, a well. I won't have a toilet without a septic system. Yeah, but, you have to put a septic but system. But yeah, I, I guess there could still be some conceivable reason why I'd want water. I guess. Yeah. Then you're going to get hit with the, the monthly. Yes, yes. Ma uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you still I, get the I, I've actually fees. been yeah, paying yeah. it for the last 19 years. Yeah. The, the minimum. Yeah, they use that building now for anything right now. Uh, it, I converted it to storage. Okay, but it, uh, it, it is a not that functional of a building, so that's why I want to take it down and put in a modern building. The water line is going to have to come out if you don't have a building with a source of heat in it to protect it anyhow. Yeah, right. 
you know. You'd have, he'd have to build a shed and put yeah, a little heater in there. You'd bring, and, have to and bring power and Take the garden hose out, so it's like yeah. kind of like a mute question. So eventually you might say, yeah, just yeah. cut it, cap it, pay I the think fees. So. Well, George, you want to word it? I mean, what, what's the what's the uh, favor of the board? Because I'll, we still want to be, we still want to confirm through DEP. Yeah. Okay. I'd say the approval of it, uh, subject to if something comes down from DEP that may deter or change something, but I don't see that happening. But okay. when I check, I will. I'll uh, I'll make a motion um, to uh, grant the permit to uh, or to approve. Um, because we're not granting a permit, we're to approve uh, expansion of the self storage facility at. 144 Schofield Ave, uh, <coughs> pending any conditions from DEP and uh, maintaining the uh, uh, the existing uh, restrictions on that property. Second that. It's been seconded. Any other discussion? Cap waters. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Waters cap. And, capped and, and so. if you're going to cap the water, that'll have to be in contact with the superintendent and the water department. And there are fees that pertain to that. So we have a motion. It's been seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So what we can do, uh, Wesley, I guess we'll have to get a, a letter off okay. for your files, mm -hmm. building permit wise, etc., that you met with us. And right now your approval stands to the point of uh, at the discrepancy yeah. out if there are any DEP no, no. Thank you. issues. Thank you. The state mind. puts commissions on it, they will pass it along. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yep. All right. Uh, item number five, 10 Susan Drive. That was like an emergency issue there when it was real cold. A, a well damp, loaded with silt and sediment. Well, it was, it he didn't like the smell. <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of money. Yeah, there was a crib stop. Right in right. front. Of, that, you know, yeah, that that was. I thought we had the. <laughs> we had a letter from the homeowner, um, and I just had him state something for the board. Uh, it was an emergency situation. Their well had failed. Uh, it was uh, just are about you, useless. Are you from Susan Drive? No. 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 I've got something to address to the that, water board. Okay. One, that, one minute. That customer is in uh, Aruba. Okay. Yeah. Good for him. Um, anyway, um, since there was a curb stop that was already pre replaced there. I, I had asked the chairman if we would do an emergency tie-in to one of the contractors for her, um, and she would also submit a letter to the board for just for approval. Uh, it was probably there was nothing else that would go wrong with thing. It, it was done pretty pretty quickly, done correctly. We checked it, we metered it, uh, did everything we had to do was on our part. Um, the well was totally gone. Uh, it was just basically almost without water. It was picking up uh, sand and sediment, and it was bad. It's probably going to happen. They were very lucky that it wasn't a tap to the main that it was, uh, but the contractor yeah. who did those was smart enough to put some curb stops in those areas. And it's had happened before, too. So they paid their fees in there? Yes. Connected. Okay, so they paid all the fees. And yeah. the office has all the correct information. Yes. yes. We, we just need your official uh, approval. For keeping wise for building. Because they had a, originally they had a sewer meter. Sewer meter only. Because they were drawing off their well. Yep. So now they have just a standard 5 eighths meter. And everything's monitored, and I, I assume mm -hmm. through Brian, right, everything's taken care of on the bookkeeping end. Okay, so I'll, I'll so. make a motion to uh, backdate, I guess, permit the permit for uh, 10 Susan Drive for the emergency water hookup. Do I have a second? Sure. Seconds for second. All those in favor? Right. All right. Uh, yeah, well, Something I mean, it'll happen again somewhere if, else. If, 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 if it happens, you know, if you got a water main in front of you, your house you and take, your well goes. You take care of it and we'll deal yeah. with it. Yeah, well, that guy's been there a long time, yeah. Tom. Yeah. He was one of the first homeowners up there. Okay, water and sewer monthly reports. Um, Mr. Chairman? Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, yeah, we want to take a break okay. here. Yeah. Uh, right, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Clifford Koss. My father was Joe Koss. Years ago, he was chairman of the Dudley School Committee. And... Uh, I lived in the last, last 45, 50 years, I lived in California in the desert. One of my trips here, because I love Jericho, that's where we live, West Street. Uh, I don't know, eight years ago, you have a water trouble where uh, Nichols College, something overflowed, and uh, you had to shut down the water supply for Dudley. How long ago was eight that? Eight years ago? <coughs> you, well, we, had an incident, we had an incident this summer with no. a water main break. No, no, this, this was, you had shut down all the water in Dudley. 
That's before our time. It was cows. My time. <laughs> cows uh, crapping by the water tank at Nichols. Some, some, something like that. Oh, oh, maybe up at Bates's. Oh, yeah, oh, maybe that could have been when the roof leaked. That's got to be. Tank. That's got to be many, many years ago. Well, we never shut the water ago. down to the to the town. Is when the, you're uh, talking about a, a restructuring of the tank at Bates due to a uh, bacteria situation. Ex yeah, exactly. E. Coli I think that what it was. Yeah, but that wasn't a shutdown of the of the system. Well, I got off. I just got off the plane. I come here, and all of a sudden, I see big signs flashing on it. And yeah. the Dudley, Dudley water is polluted. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. <laughs> that was that a could have been when we had the. Uh, that was the base. No, when we had the issue where the uh, we we had the uh, power storm that night and it knocked the controls out at Station Three and we pumped all that potassium hydroxide into the system. No, he's. He, uh, I think he's it, talking about the Bates, the incident. I can't with the, remember. All I know it was is a I boil got water. off the plane there and was, I saw there was boil, wa things. boil water, boil, boil water, water, water. Yeah, yeah, right. that. yeah, that's for that. Okay. That's for and that. I want to tell the water company they reacted perfectly, even though the residents were pissed off because they, they saw it took too long to let them know that Dudley had the oh, water problem. Okay. Well, <laughs> Go ahead. So, but you did it. You did so a perfect. We, I'm we, telling you, you did a perfect job. You, because uh, we had the same problem in California, and it goes by steps. You can notify the state. The state takes over. The residents of Palm of Dudley didn't realize you had to go through certain farms and uh, okay. preparations to get this thing straightened out. So I'm just giving a uh, tip of my hat again to the Dudley Water Company. They did perfectly, even though the residents didn't couldn't okay. figure out why it took you so, so long to warm. So. Okay, how does that pertain to today? <laughs> that today? Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, today, I've been trying to, you got, you're gonna put a new roof on this. I, again, this is something different. I just come, because I heard you were having a meeting. You're putting a new roof on this building, right? Okay, yeah, that's selectman, yeah, but okay. Okay, you're putting the wrong friggin' roof on. Like 15 years ago, I sent you a sa sample, the building department, Nobody followed through. It's a foam roof. It is fantastic. It is fireproof. How do I know? I had it on my house in California because I had a fire. Okay, but we're, we're the water and sewer department. That, that's not okay. our. Okay. That's not Granted, our. I tried getting. Uh, I've got a sample of this roof insulation. I talked with people downstairs or whatever, trying to get a copy, or get a sample of this roof. I mean, Roofing material to anybody in the Dudley. Uh, well, did you go to the board of selectmen? Huh? Did you go to? The I tried. I tried. Because uh, I think that would be the uh, the if, thing if to do is go see yeah. the secretary and get on the agenda for Monday night's selectmen's meeting. Monday night. Next Monday. Is it next Monday? That's why I was just trying to pull up 14. the website. <laughs> okay. Fourteen. So All right. It, two it, weeks. Oh, a the week from Monday. Two weeks. Yeah, that's going to be. It a might be meeting. in California. Next. Yeah. Okay. The date again is January fourteenth. They meet every two okay. weeks. Okay. Okay. Leave the sixty. I'll be here. But anyway, yeah, I mean, outside of giving it to the building inspector's office and let them communicate with the board of selectmen, I mean that's the only closest. Right. That's not anything exactly. we. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This way. We, we pay have. rent. We pay rent to be here. You're kidding. No. 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 Big time. Okay. This is Dudley, for God's yeah, sake. Yeah. Uh, I was born here yeah. 81 you don't wanna, years ago. You don't want to know the number we pay the town of Dudley. Okay. <laughs> we, we pay rent. All right. Okay. On the okay. Roof. January 14th, yeah. what time? 6.30. Yes, 6.30. Okay. Where? Right, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Across, right the across the hall. Across the hall. Okay. But you want to oh. get on the agenda. I do. Uh, so you want to go see the secretary so you can get on seven. my... Uh, Which is who? Oh. Seven. Is one the seventh? January 7th. Okay, okay. so it's okay. Monday. So there's one next Monday as well. The second Monday. Okay. Yeah. So what you want to do is go the see the second. The only here is uh, Ed Patno's daughter. Oh yeah, Michelle. I'm friendly with that's, her. Yeah. She's that's, that's who you have to talk to. She's really? Michelle yeah. Jarvis. Yeah, she'll take care of you. I saw her yesterday. Yeah, yeah that's okay. who you need to talk. She's to. the one you'd have to talk to. Okay. Anyway. That's that then. I'll. We'll gladly take your compliments on the good work we do. Yeah. You did perfect. Perfect. Thank you. And again, Dudley's getting screwed if they put in there some. Yeah, same I, don't know, I don't know who's. Well, if they have the, an engineer working on that or what? what? You know? Go, go easy. easy. We're on TV. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's put it this way: anybody that works for Dudley and they know there's a better roof, it's expensive, but there's something far 
superior than what they're putting on. Now, let, let me ask you a question. You're, Anything. From, you're from Jericho. Yeah. Where's the name Jericho come from for uh -huh. the neighborhood? I asked it. you who Ed Patton is, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He should know. I, I talk with him. He's dead now. Yeah. I talked with him. Hell wouldn't have it. He didn't know. Now that's a couple people. No one can give me an answer. No. How Jericho got its name Jericho. Monsignor at the Dudley Church. Where? Over there? Across the street. Right over yeah. here. I, I'm, 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 I'm a Anyway, he suggested there used to be races. This is years ago. That's the only answer I got from the priest. There used to be races. And uh, there was one guy in the race yelling, Go, Jerry, go. And that, that's all. That's all that that man could come up with. You can come up with something better. Did I'll you ever repeat talk it. to Jolino about it? No, no. I, Why wouldn't they? Just know? suddenly, I'm just getting asked by people. With, with I Jericho asked. Him, I asked everybody. I'll bet Jolino would know. Chico. Oh, Chico. Yeah. I'll ask. Him. Okay. Now, what yeah, makes you see? Oh, what do you mean TV? We're, oh, on, we're television. on television. I don't see camera. It's right there. there. Right there. there. You could have warned me. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing me. so good on your own. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. All right. There's one roof only for this building. I went to school here. My yeah. father was chairman. Yeah. This roof is wrong, and the next roof is going to be wrong also. Yeah. I have a sample of it downstairs. Mm. We'll see Michelle. Yep, that's what you got to do, sir. Bring the information to Michelle, and she can get you onto the board of selectmen's agenda. Okay. Seven. I'll bang on the door. <laughs> Proceed. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Okay. Back to George. Water and sewer monthly report. Okay, I'll give the sewer report first. Um, they pulled both pumps in Lawrence Road as they were clogged with rags. 31 Terrier Road, some pump inspection, uh, ran to hose outside and went okay. Installed a new heater at Luther Lane Station. Uh, clean leaves at the plant. Marked out lines at 10 Susan Drive for that water tie-in that we requested. Uh, they met with the electrician at Conan Ave to pull some new wires through at that station. They also met with Vinny Paletta for an easement on Progress Ave. Not really sure what that was about. Uh, replaced plum, that plumbed at Conan Ave, all new setup in there for plumbing. Uh, marked out 10 JBF for a water leak that was there. Uh, I was on the customer side. Met with the town planner, town administrator, and building inspector regarding the block grant, which I'll get into uh, on my report. Uh, that's a sewer report. <clears throat> for a while, water report, uh, we performed our annual backflow inspections with Toomey Services. Brian accompanied them. Uh, no real issues. There was some small items uh, addressed, but nothing at all. It went very well. Uh, the boys are continuing installation and replacement of the radio read systems. They've got many in there right now, and they continue to add more. So that's pretty good. So that's going very well. We're putting those new integrated in. They're working out well. Our monthly water samples came back again. Tested were good, which is good. <laughs> uh, did the annual leak detection uh, with Carl Sapa. Uh, he conducted for the year and found some customer leaks and some leaky hydrants, and those were addressed. So we're pretty well buttoned up there. Uh, we installed the new KOH pump at Station 6, and when I said it was refitted by Madden for free, uh, it's been working okay, but we had some one issue with the quill, which we're addressing right now, see what's going on with that. Service break on Raymond Street on house, to house number two on New Year's Eve, and main break on New Year's Day on the prize court. Uh, the sewer department assisted, assisted us on both of those, which we appreciate and thank them. And uh, right now, I am waiting for word from Frank Sullivan, which I just got on the Station 3 pump and shaft to be installed. This is a temporary installation to give us some more time uh, to, to look at getting a new well source. Okay, this, is a, this thing has to be done very quickly because these, um, this problem with this well is getting worse. Um, he's coming Monday to do the project uh, to put this new well and new shaft in. As I explained before, the shaft was sleeved back in 2014 and it was raised up higher than 64 feet now it's probably been up to about 40 something feet um, we're still getting sediment into it uh, the well is now uh, the shaft is uh, it's disorientated it's it's not straight on it never was when they did the project in the first place due to the sleeve so it bought us what they told us would be about four or five years so we're kind of at where they told us right now we've been running the station on regular rotation uh, it's been okay but you hear the vibration going right through the piping in the floor um, and as I explained before, um, the next step of this process, once this uh, pump goes into place, which is a temporary pump, and then for our pump to be refitted because the bearings are gone on it because of this irregular shaft, um, is to uh, have um, a article to have a test well put next to our station somewhere in the 25-foot radius to see if we can uh, drill down for adequate water supply. Tap you want well, to stay in the same stay pocket. right in the same right in the same aquifer right in the oh, same yeah, spot yeah, yeah. just easily 
a pipe, a new pipe right into the station. I did meet with the town administrator. I sent him a written report on the whole situation with what we're doing now and what we're going to be, need to be doing for an article and down the line, which we'll get into later on, um, because we want to use this one vendor who's already been doing our wells and pumps for the last 30 years. And he has all the materials, all the know-how, all the records, everything on our system. So uh, this way here we can, get, we can get a waiver to kind of stick to what we're doing and it's an emergency situation and get it done as soon as we can possibly get it done. So I will be looking for an article sometime this fall to start this process spring. of, of the spring it, though. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm screw up the seasons. This spring to start the process going of uh, getting the test well, uh, which is about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to do that. And depending on where the water is good and they can tap a well, depending in the difficult of bringing the pipe in, which Frank seems to think it should be okay, come right off the side of the station. You're probably going to be looking at around a hundred grand or so, give or take. Okay. But like I said, that done. Yeah, it's got to be done. done. Well, it's exactly. got to be done, and you're talking about yeah. somewhere un, somewhere under two hundred grand for the whole. Somewhere thing. in there, he's, he's he can be non-specific because of course he has to wait till he sees what he gets. We've got retained earnings. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. on that subject, you, you're talking about an article in yep. the spring town meeting. Yep. We also have another potential article coming up for that incumbent money funds, right? To take those money. That was my next thing. I okay, take those monies and clean them up into one article to use to pay for that. Yeah, and I wrote him that too because he requested that information too so that that can be also done cor correctly because mm -hmm. there's a way to do that. Well, sure. Laurie can show you like <coughs> over the years, in other words, say we purchased it's something. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the It's, it's, it's in the it's four thousand dollars left here or five. She take told that, me about it and I told him about yeah, it. We can take that money and legally go through the town meeting process and we won't even have to touch retained earnings or something. We can just clean those articles up, take that money and pay this bill with it. Yeah. It may, it, we may still have to take some, we're yeah. not sure, but like I said, at least they'll clean up some of that so money those are that's priorities. sitting. Those are spring priorities. That is a priority. Another thing I forgot to mention is I, I did talk to uh, the DP rep who is handling our case with all this other stuff. Sort of our, I've known her for many years when I'm de dealing with her. I've been asking her about the tank projects that I explained before about cleaning the tanks that we have mm -hmm. to do mandated. Mm -hmm. And I may be able to get one tank per year done, not two at a time. I explained to her the difficulty of, of shutting down the water and what it does to us to recover, about all that kind of thing. She's looking into the information I gave her about doing maybe Bates first, the, the, which is the oldest tank, doing it one year, and then next year doing the standard one. one. Yeah, and so exactly you, what we need to do on that is still up in question. She's looking at the reports from uh, Underwater Solutions and all that, and our, the, uh, our guy who built the tank, Joe Papo, when we went up on there September, he did an inspection. He submitted a report to me. I submitted that to her. So she has all the information she needs to decide which way we can go, how, what we can do. Chances are we'd probably be able to get away with just one tank for the year, for this year, next year the other tank, and I'll get a better idea of what they'll expect of us to do with those tanks. So you have a, you have a good line of communication with the yes, I do. DEP. Yeah. And we, we have a rep, a, a contact person. <laughs> they seemed, well, we well, had one that she seemed to leave. Uh, I go back to the old one that I've known for years over there. But and, you, uh, you do have an inside person yes. at the Worcester office that yeah. you can the, call. I have connections to a, a bunch of them that go from one area, from drinking water, some go to chemical sides, some, they all serve different purposes. One we've had for many years, so he, uh, he actually had brain cancer and died, and he was a great, uh, great representative. He came over here and he was really good. So all uh, right. uh, keep, up the, keep up the open line of communication yep. then. Absolutely. That's the main um, thing. You have that uh, tie, the letter from the uh, uh, 10 Susan Drive. The other thing is the sewer camera. I want, just want to mention we did find the funding for that camera. The money was there for that camera. Um, so, uh, and for, uh, they the wanted, I'm sorry, the generator. The generator for Lakeview. Um, we do have money for that generator. There was some, I remember, from yeah. way back. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to keep that camera still. Oh, absolutely. Still, still in, I've got that written down as something okay. to deal with at the end. Because I think that's very important, especially with Zion I coming. It, it, uh, and even my, I mean, Mike didn't know about I understand what his reasoning for the generator and that. But uh, on the same side, you, you still have to go out with a group of generators during an emergency and still do them. You know, and they're only once in a blue moon, but the camera could be for quite a while to use it. Um, so so, that, so that's my that report. Right we know we have the money appropriated for a camera. When we're ready, we can put that out to solicit bids for that particular camera. But how are you going to handle the uh, uh, generator situation? We have to get all the specs on the uh, wattage, the amperage. My, that was done way back. We still, Mike has no, no, Mike, we have those new pumps down there. Yeah, Mike has that information, and I think we're going to have to go through that. Our, uh, our um, 
what's the name of the company? Uh, Methuen. Methuen did all the work. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to put a call on Mike and I will have to talk to with them with exactly what is required there. Um, because uh, even Donnie f from LaFleur Electric is going to be a big involvement on that. He's going to tell us exactly what's going to be needed and required for those type of pumps. Um, and he's our in-house electrician, so he knows and all that system National too. National Grid has to be involved. We're, we're going to have to find out the specifics. We're probably going to have to put a cement pad down and, and dig out a little bit. I might have to take the machine over there and do some do high pressure preparation. gas to bring a gas line in. Yeah. I don't know what's there. I don't know what's there for gas. Mm, that's and also National Grid is going to have to be yeah. involved, and that's going to require a, a permit process through them because that means going out to the road. Keep, yeah, keep the process so going. So it's quite a bit going there. Moving. If yeah. we're going to start looking into it, it's just not plopping, plopping it down and. Yeah, yeah, but that'll be a big, a big help. Right, then you won't have to visit that. It's area. the main line station, yeah, so I mean, it takes everything. So uh, I'll be talking to Mike the next week or so about uh, going on, on this one. Uh, yeah, just something to through something to think Mike about there. Work, uh -huh. that, the work that through the winter so that yeah, as soon as spring grid. time comes, you can get it done. Yep. Uh, for now, that's that's my report for a minute. Existing article funds. We're going to hold off on that, Laurie, for now. Um, that's up to you. I yep. put the the paper in there showing what we have in our accounts right now, but also the articles. Mm -hmm. Now, are all of these articles that are listed here between sewer and water? Are all of those all of those are exp the the work that they were that money was encumbered for is all done? Yes. None of these are, are so active. The station six one you see there that was all done. Um, it's and there's some a couple others here. We have to go through a few more. The sort of a housekeeping thing. The backhoe is is done. That's done. Yeah, that's fairly new too. Test, that's test new. wells. Test wells. Yep. That's and like I said, that's all going to be now geared for the new the new site, for the new well. Okay. So all those things have been exhausted. They've been sitting for a long time. So the actually there is um, sewer video camera. That's new. Mm -hmm. um, the F-450 truck is new. Yep. And that's still got two grand left. We're going to yeah. do, we were going to leave that hold for, off on that. Leave that's that for it, repairs. Yeah. Tires yeah. Well, you can buy tires with it. Tires. They might put some new stuff on there, like utility box or something like that that he may want. You know, I, wanna, okay. I don't want to lose that. Nice looking truck, by the way. Yeah. Um, infiltration analysis, that's ongoing. Yep. Um, two new generators. generators article. Okay. 55 grand for generators. That's, is that new? That's been the one that's, that's been, been sitting there. That's, that's the one that's been sitting there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, alarm system is, that's from 16 or 15? 15. 15. Okay. I think that's holding on that that's one. That's ongoing. That's ongoing. Yeah. So most of, the, most of the borrowing on the sewer side is, uh, is uh, ongoing stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's just on the water side. Yeah. And we've got, uh, got some old, like Mason Road is old. Mm -hmm. MTBE yep. monitoring yep. wells is old. Um, Dudley Oxford Road is old. That MTV, I wouldn't, uh, I'd keep some of it in there because yeah, yeah. that's still an ongoing. Uh, Four, one. five, fifty. Do we actually 14. have that money in a fund that, from that MVTE yeah. settlement? That's what that is. That's what that is. No, no, oh, we, we discussed that. Okay, so that's the MTV. But they do require testing every, I think that was five, ten years. So there's a so testing that's, period. That's, that's, that's and we have to perform it. That that's, not, uh, that's not really yeah. money that came out of our, our funds. That no. came from the that was settlement. settlement. Yeah. And we got a percentage of it. The backhoe, test wells. So, this keep so, so some yeah. of that. Um, yeah. Well, some, yeah, of the, the, some of the water stuff is we can make it. We could take it out if we have to and redo a whole package for the new project. So that's not a big deal. Okay. All right. So, um, and then there was, what's, okay, that's, that insurance recovery is is, is, is not ours. No. No. Okay. Okay. So our uh, 155 on a water department is truly not 155. No. And and no. most of the 213 on the yeah, sewer is, just, yeah. is active stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's still um, active projects that are still going on, still ongoing. Okay. I just wanted to but follow it up. It is on. available. Yeah. There are funds available. Oh, yeah. Without... I mean, like I say, you're not gonna. Yes, we we can I mean, offset you, you, the cost you, you, to a good degree. You, you could offset it to a good degree. Like I say, if you want to clean up those line items, just to clean them up. Then, if you needed tires or something else, then you just take them out of your yep. operating expense. So it's right now, the well is is the most important thing we yeah. got going right yeah. now. Yeah. In other words, to find that money by hook or crook. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Because I don't even know how much the tank is going to get us into at that time, even one tank or two. Yeah. You could be talking another hundred or 150,000. We, well, we just don't know. Well, 
you, you got into it that you had a meeting with a few of the sewer department, the building inspector and everything. Yeah. Where do we stand on receiving any type of state or federal funding? Well, here, I'll get into that. Um, I met with the, and Mike and I both met with the block grant people. Mm -hmm. We've been having two meetings with them. It's a little difficult. It, it's, there's not a lot of money out there that's available for projects for infrastructure. And what they do is they go by demographics of a certain area of town. And we'll use Jericho as a certain area is what they're looking at right now. I wanted them out towards the Mason Road area yeah. to look at the AC pipe, even on the sewer side, to look at that. The demographics. The exactly demographics right. don't match because it's not, the, the yellows are in the, if you understand, in the Jericho. Mm -hmm. So now I'm looking at, since the sewer is, is in need of some desperate infrastructure repair, we're moving it more towards the Jericho area, Oxford Ave. But I can also benefit from possibly changing the main on Oxford Ave to an 8-inch main versus a 6-inch replacing the services there. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the monies are very tricky. We're working on those things. It's always the, the, the word comes back, well, they may not like this. Well, they may not like this. But let's try to find an area that they may be comfortable with. It, it's a crapshoot wherever we do. So we're looking at Literally. Oxford Ave area, Jericho area, to get some kind of assistance to do some kind of project or, or infrastructure in the neighborhood down here down to George we, 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 Street, yeah there's pizza. nothing here for us to benefit or down the sewer here, really right. to benefit it's more towards the Jericho area yeah. but the biggest one was of course the Mason Road area with the AC pipe yeah where, where okay the AC okay the, the trans pipe is, yeah. is all ge it's mostly just, Jericho and Mason Road it's right? mostly just Mason Road Jericho is mostly cast iron in that side there that's what made me a little disappointed I wanted to really do the AC side but they're not going for the demographics where it's located. We're just on the edge of the line over yeah. there. And he says, if you try to do it, you're probably gonna waste your time. I says, well, I gotta go with a more surefire thing, at least for the sewer, and we can maybe benefit on a main product, because that main is, is kind of small for that street, for what that right. type of neighborhood. So we're still working on it. There's gonna be another meeting on it. We've had our second meeting, uh, and we're trying, we, at least we narrowed it down to that. Um, Mike and I looked and said, you know, there's real no, to benefit both of us, or one of us, at least, Somebody can benefit on that Jericho side there. And we may not get anything. We may, maybe a couple hundred thousand. It's just, it's worth a shot, so we're gonna try. So that's that's how we left it with that right now. Okay, good. I'll keep the board informed on the progress of that, um, what's happening there. Um, okay, they got the... the only, well, yeah, interest rates are kind of low, so I don't think there's anything out there through the state on like zero interest or anything like that for any type of jobs right now. You know? yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the thing, and, and you know the prevailing wages and things like that for the state is a killer. So, uh, but they're they're uh, they've got the programs. We're going to at least get our foot in the door, because this has really never been. They they have these kind of programs, but um, the people that meet them usually been over that way. So now they're branching out more. Some of the smaller towns and trying to trying to give a, a piece of the pie. So I noticed the uh, you mentioned prevailing wage. We're paying one hundred and twenty two dollars an hour for an electrician. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because the state says that's how much we have to pay. Yeah. Thank God he's a good one. <laughs> it, well, it's, it's, ro it's still robbery. Yeah, I know. Anyway. All right, old business. Where do we stand on uh, approval of funds to upgrade the... Uh, I, um, I've i met with Donnie. I remember I brought to the board mm -hmm. a uh, proposal that he had regarding just Station 6 and Station 3. One was about 8000 another was 7500 that did not include the alarm systems. That just included the communication from the telemetering. That's using the telephone lines from the main station to communicate to the other stations when to turn on, when mm -hmm. to turn off. We, our system on, on the alarms have failed also, and we knew this was happening, but we were hoping we'd get away a little more. But we've had numerous problems with the alarms are not working. So if we have a, a, a catastrophic problem in the station, the alarms will not notify the on-call person we have a problem. Donnie says, uh, from the first, says, listen, he says, this is ridiculous, he says, Nobody even uses this analog system anymore. National, uh, Verizon won't even take care of it anymore. Right. They did us a favor. They were able to grab a couple pairs of wires at the junction box to at least keep us going. But they will not keep, keep doing what they're doing. That's, and this that's is going to include... That's happening everywhere. And this is going to include the water towers and, and, and the Bates tank and the booster station. So I asked Donnie, listen, give us at least a good deal on doing the whole... And he's coming back with some more information. I'm just giving you a general general idea what what's here now. He's going to uh, send us a written out more more stringent proposal of getting all the stations for alarms, communication. I mean station one, station six, station three. 
get them all alarmed, all the process is done. He's looking at the range of $30,000 for that part of the project. That's what we call our phase one project. We can, get, we can start with that right now. Later on, we can have to go to a phase two project, get the, Bates, uh, the booster station, Bates tank, and the main station done. Uh, it, the, the days of fiddle faddling trying to patch work is not going to do it anymore. Um, our, our call outs are numerous, our overtime is numerous. Uh, you know, we're talking two or three times a day, we're getting called out for various uh, conditions or problems because the communication went down and then the alarms aren't calling it in and some alarms are just failing and all of a sudden going on. Um, right now we're trying to just hold our own and band-aiding a few things. But I am going to work with him next week to uh, get a more definitive breakdown of, of the first phase, which is the main station, all the other stations, to be on full alarm and communication, telemetering and alarming. Okay, but just to kind of break the it, back, it's, it's, that, it's expensive. It's a that state. has to be a top priority in case we have to do something oh, at the town meeting to right. get the money. It's got to be done. You've got to do though. it. Yeah, this, I'm going to get two quotes, uh, three quotes. He's going to be one. There's two other quotes coming in. Um, it looks like those other quotes aren't going to be able to entangle with the project. Um, and that's all we need to start the first phase of this going with approval. Um, the other thing is, is this is not only just a new type of SCADA system, and I know Scott's familiar with this type of thing, this is not required by FCC regulation to, to have an FCC license to run. Some of them are. He also has software set up to teach uh, us about, because some of the guys have, well, nobody has a flip phone like I do, or maybe Bazzi does. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I can't get this information on our, my phone, but uh, the other guys can. On a regular smartphone, the information will come up, and he'll teach how to use it, of what is exactly wrong with the station, what station, you know, the time period it happened. It's, it's the type of new thing that everybody has, so we know what we're getting into when we're coming in, that what to expect, what tools to bring or where, where to go to, and it, it's going to be absolutely terrific to have that kind of system. It's needed. There's no, no ifs, ands, or buts. So that's going to be our, our main thing. That's where the costs come into, some of the training, the software, you know, the system itself. Um, mm -hmm. But I'll give you more information at the next meeting. If he's hard to track down. He's been working on some big project in Sturbridge. I've been able to get him in bits and pieces. I, at least I got this quickly to just give an idea of what we're up against, what the plan of attack well, is. Be. That company, that's all they do. Mm -hmm. They're not out wiring a house one day and going into a pump station or a sewer station or the next day. It's all yeah, sewer and water yep. type work. You know, yeah. so yeah, sewer has something a little bit different, but it works for them. Um, on their systems and their stations, but uh, right now for what we have for our telemetry, we're just running on borrowed time right now. Yeah. Uh, the the copper lines copper lines are going yeah. going away everywhere. Yeah, and the also pairs, yeah. I know guys who work for Verizon. We pay constantly band-aiding copper wire, mm -hmm. constantly, that, and that's not just for oh. stuff like this. It's for um, residential and, and everything else. The uh, the alarms per month, the, the, the station three and six are like $23, $24 a piece. Um, New Boston Road, 69 I mean, there's there's some costs that we're going to eliminate with the banana yeah, yeah, lines. Yeah, you're going to eliminate the, yeah. the Verizon. The Verizon yeah, stuff, yeah, so that, that's going to help, you know, a little offset. bit there every month. Yeah, we'll somehow. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, keep, yeah, get, get us the information as yeah, soon as... You're going to list of things, George, really, right now, going into the, you know, coming yeah. up into the spring, you're going to get a lot of work ahead. Stay on top of it. Good. You know what I mean? To keep... Keep, keep our ducks lined up. What's next? Yeah. Because um, we're going to be prepared for town meeting if we're going to start looking for money with our articles. Yep. And we do have money in retained earnings. And we're, and we have re some money in retained earnings, and we also have, uh, we're in pretty, I th believe we're in a pretty good sh shape for uh, borrowing. So. Yeah. 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 We've expired a bunch of debt. Mm -hmm. or, and that we've yeah, got we've, more we've, than expiring. We've sold, we've, I think next we've, couple of years, we've yeah, got more, a lot paying more. off some debt, especially sewer off. debt. Yep. I think we just recently paid off a sewer debt somewhere that was about a hundred thousand dollars or something. Uh, yeah, uh, it's gone down quite a bit. Yep. Yeah, I think the last so one goes. I think the last one, the last one is twenty or twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's two thousand twenty. The projects are sort of following in line from what we've done previous years, like mm -hmm. Mill Street. That it, every couple of years we take on another project. But yeah, right yeah. now our projects are well that's, uh, in the tanks. So. Yeah. Well, plus not all of that, but. Now our money's going to go to inflow and infiltration. Well, yeah. Better, yeah, I was going to we better get it's some, already spent. Yeah, we better get some help on that from yeah. the state, you know? Yeah. Or the banks or whoever. Uh, DPW update. You, you have your packets there. I won't bring it up here now. It's going to be We got reading. the report. Just got it today. We'll be, at, we'll be in attendance at the Selectman's meeting that particular night. 
Regulations and fees, uh, what's that? What do we want to do with that? We haven't heard back from town council yet, okay. so you might want to table that okay, until table next regulation and fees. Can we just approve those fees that we had talked about for Can we discuss the DPW for a second? Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. I'm just curious. Um, I looked at the plan up and about looked at it there. It looked like they're gonna have somebody running the DPW. They're gonna have a structure. I mean, this has been going on for a while with the way this present I'm surprised it's just the, the old story. They're gonna have a the town selectman, administrator, director, which is going to be an added probably hundred thousand dollar cost. Then well, they're going to go not. down to what I would be a foreman, right. not a superintendent. Right. Okay. And, and they would have a couple under us. There's also they're talking about cross training people I from other departments to do do certain work. Right. That, you know. My my point for bringing it up right. is okay. Can we come up with before the meeting well, with the selectman? Can we come up with a no? I knew some that. kind of guideline or yeah, yeah, what it's good. We think that. Job's I, gonna yeah, cost I, I, me, but I, these people recommended it. Well, that doesn't, you know. Well, I can tell you right it, now from you know reading it that? as I read it, what you and I was telling it leaves out a very important part, which I've explained to these gentlemen that I had interviews with. Only a third of the town, water and sewer. It doesn't mention that, in the, in, for some reason, it doesn't mention that in the report. It only mentions what the, how many people the sewer, uh, of the water covers, like 2,300. And it doesn't, it doesn't factor in the rest of the town that's not on water and sewer. So that was unusual why that wasn't put in there properly. Um, it has a lot of overhead, a lot of uh, you know added expenses in there, a lot of added people in there. Um, How many people are going to be added besides the director? Uh, there's going to be probably three on the water side and the sewer. I, I, it sounds like the sewer is going to be sort of dis dismantled into various I other. I was going to say it sounds to me like they want to get rid of the sewer department and have the highway and, and us and all and that. You know, right. have everybody kumbaya together as being you know. But they don't understand something that, first of all, a licensed operator for the water department has a year experience for the water department and he's licensed to run the system. He's not gonna take orders from a director who he, where he feels something's gonna be wrong and doesn't wanna do it and risk his license. The DEP will back him up on that. Hold on, uh, well, wouldn't the, the director need some I, I type of license? We, we, we received this report a couple of hours ago. None of us have been able to spend any time yeah, actually reading time it. On. I think we, I think we're, we're treading in 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 well we can get up to speed areas. at the selectmen's meeting right yeah we, we can get up to speed on this if we need to pull together another meeting a the, couple days before that we can do that that's my um, but want to concern do bringing it up well, you want to have all, a meeting we all, we all, we all need a copy then we all have to spend some time on it and we all have to take out our bullet so points to, to have a fact sheet. To start speculating yeah. about this and that, you this know. and that, and none of us have been had time, notes. time to really read anything. About. We don't want to sound like the news on television, <laughs> speculate. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a great idea to have a, a working meeting where we can okay. just That's discuss fine. it. That's fine. It'll have to be public. Want to pick a date. That's fine with me. Um, that, that's the 14th. That doesn't have to be a televised. No, no, just, just no, it just, it doesn't just have to be public. That's sit all. Sit in the office, sit in the yeah. office, and read after after we've studied it. Just yeah, after everybody gets a look at it, we can get together and talk about it. That's all. But you'd have to is that before the, is it meeting, before the fourteenth or Larry? What? I'm sorry? You have to post it, right? I'll post it. Yes. Yeah. Now, the fourteenth is a selectman's meeting. Well, he said it's next us. week. No, 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 no it's a separate, about this separate. is a separate meeting okay. for this. I, this is probably a one one agenda item meeting. Okay. Yeah. With the selectmen, they probably. Um, so we, we have to have a meeting um, sometime next week. Next Wednesday. Fine. Fine with me. That's fine. We can just meet in the office. Yeah. What time? Six thirty. That was good for you guys. I have a I have a, yeah, you know, a scout meeting, but I can skip that. So you're gonna, you you're gonna early I'll or? post it. You you have the capability to print and a I'll couple print more one reports at the town hall. Mm -hmm. Can you come earlier? I'll do those tomorrow. Well, I probably can't. What time? Okay. No, no. He, uh, if he can't make it earlier than at 6.30, it would have to be. Right. Okay. I, yeah, it, that's fine. No, no, no. Well, let's I'm, I'm guessing I can't. I just. That's fine. I'll be coming from Weston. So our homework now in the next week is to have a report. Study it. Check this out, yeah. While you're studying it, have a highlighter. You pick something up and have a notebook next to it to well, write I, it down. I what have else? a an article that I'll bring to the meeting and show you because that was the setup that they had passed out years ago. Yes. And according to that, they were gonna put like three more people up on the top, which I thought was a hell of a lot of money, so. And you know where those salaries go? I have that article, I'll bring that to the meeting. Okay. okay. 
All right, that's good, good then. Okay. okay, thank you. I'll pick my copy up tomorrow night. Right. I'll print copies for everyone. So yeah. anytime right, after I tomorrow, go. you want to pick them up. Yeah. I'm all You can take that one. Thank you. So next Wednesday, six thirty. Okay. Yep. We'll send good. out an email prior to that, Laurie. Okay. So everyone's um, on board. I'll even get some input from the guys to yeah. write some notes down for them too, because they're part of it. Um, yeah, absolutely. The yeah, other the other day, I was here um, signing bills, and I was told that. Um, the water sewer bills, the quarterly bills, along with the tax bills and all of that, the town is going to uh, is is town um, the collector treasurer is looking, I guess is moving towards outsourcing the stuffing of the envelope, stuffing of the bills, and um, and uh, whatever else goes into those envelopes, um, rather than having folks in the town hall stuff them, they're going to send them down to a local vendor. To have them do it, and then pay that's for it. That's cheaper. Uh, that's they they're thinking they're thinking that <laughs> or, it, it or is. it's or it's easier for someone. What I but um, my my point in in, bring, in saying anything is that uh, that they're they're also exploring the fact of billing us our the cost uh, a portion of the cost of doing that um, right away. I've I've tried twice. Um, I've made appointments twice to sit down with the town administrator to talk about our indirect costs. Which is um, ridiculous, and, and it's gone and, up. And both times I, I, I got here, uh, once he was on vacation, and the other time he was at a meeting in Worcester. Um, I took time off from work for one of them. Um, I still haven't gotten any answers about why we're paying so much for indirect costs to be here. Um, it's gone if, off. If that's if that's the case, we're paying. We are already paying for the folks who are stuffing those envelopes, right? What in our indirect costs? Well, like if I they want to outsource you. that, that's their problem. That if I'm, I'm just speaking for myself. Um, I, I, I'm, 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 my opinion is that it, it, that's their that's their uh, the one up. That's their responsibility. responsibility. That's their responsibility. They can outsource it if they want, but they can pay for it. Um, for us to pay well you got to understand now after what I told you how much we were paying last year it's gone up 2.5 now yeah all right oh I know so it's not going down it's not like gas prices no I think for the amount of money that the water and sewer pay we could probably put up our own building um, you know, I, at the end of the day you I think did, about it we could easily rent the place I did do uh, some quick research and for that amount of money um, actually, for less money, we could rent a small office exactly in the little office building um, next to Dunkin' Donuts in Oxford Center. Um, we just rehab the office in the garage. <laughs> uh, and and, and oh, just there you and, go. And, and there'd be money left over, of course. <laughs> we could make a heating system. We just could make the place in front of the water it's, it's department. Exorbitant. We just close um, it in. Or have a teller type thing, you know. Just come in, in, in like a bank. case, I just wanted it to be out there <laughs> that, uh, that, 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 that this kind of stuff is going on, and we need to we need to well, keep like, an eye on it. Well, like I explained to you last year, I think we're paying a hell of a lot of money. It was three ninety one a day. Yeah, and that was last year. So this year it's going to be more. It's been going up that, that, every year. You know, every year. But in any case, I just wanted we, to bring that. We talked about that. Proposition. We, we talked about that. That's why mm -hmm. some towns have districts. You would have to become a district, and that means you'd have to be totally responsible. Oh no, no kidding. It's, yes. it's, it's a lot a, of water departments are going district. district, district. Yes. Yes. The, the, district it's a big. It's a big thing to and try think, to do. But and I would take approval from the state and, legislature. And I'm not sure that I would even want to even go in that direction, or if it would even be good for. Just like to put the sewer department under our wings, the the sewer and water department. But that had to go through the state legislature once it was yeah. approved at the town hall. So this would have to go through the state legislature. But uh, I, I know in, in some cases, so. without reading it, you've mentioned a couple ideas of like hiring two or three top line people. That's what they want to do. Now those two or three top line people, you'd have to realize this is how that game could work. Okay, we put forty percent of that salary on the water department, mm -hmm. forty percent of that salary on the sewer department. Oh, I get it. Twenty percent of the salary goes on the taxpayer base. Right. You follow me. It's we like get it. Suddenly, boy, so, oh boy, the well, sewer and water users are paying these in salaries. Any case, we've if, got a lot if of you hire one them, guy, you know? all right. If you hire one guy to be on the Greg, okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to be a hundred something thousand. Right. With all the vacation and the pension and yeah, the yeah, sick yeah. time and all of that and yeah, whatever else is thing. going to go, so. Let's say that it's a buck and a half just yep. for the one guy. Yep. So what is that going to you know, resolve here? I think everything runs quite well. Who's going to pay that? Like without that one guy? You, you, with the town is looking at 
even if they split it three ways, right? Ta- you know, the town, water, sewer, right? You're looking at increasing each budget by fifty grand, right? But I mean, it doesn't. This is like having a water line here, all right? And you put a meter over there, and somebody says, "Well, it's not that accurate, so let's put another meter on the pipe." You know, two meters are going to read the same amount of water, basically. Mm-hmm. All right, so we don't need an extra guy, you know, to tell, well, to tell everybody right. what to do, and, and, in and my opinion. Case, we've got a lot of homework to do. We, I, we really need to stay uh, engaged and, and, and pay attention to what's going on. All right. That's, so that's, that's, right. Well, that's our homework. Next, next right. Wednesday. Let's we'll surround them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Anything <laughs> else to join? I'll make a motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.